hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am here to share with you the june 2021 bring back my bars from sensei um as i have mentioned before i am an independent sensei consultant i will leave my link down below all of these bars um, were voted on and they will be available to customers on june 1st so there are 25 of them um, yeah, and they'll be available from June 1st to June 30th. So if you find ones that you like and you have a Sensi Club, I strongly recommend that you add these. Okay, so let us get started. Um, hopefully I have these in somewhat order and we'll just go from there. The first one is Blue Hyacinth. Oh, I do like this one. This is in a pretty, like, um. Uh, a lilac kind of color and then the wax matches this I have never tried before and I do like um, hyacinth in flowers and this is pretty realistic and it just says florals from heaven pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power so this is pretty this is not like bold it's a very nice um, light floral in my opinion on cold so that is the first one then we have candy crave another one i have never tried and it is in a pretty blue with a matching wax i love um that they change the bring back my bar packaging it just has a little like sticker over here okay so let us see about candy crave I do want to say that my bars arrived today. They were delivered um, FedEx and there were three ice packs in with them. So nothing melted, nothing sweaty. They all look decent. I only sniffed a couple and then I put them all back in so that I could do more of a first impression um, unboxing with you guys. Okay, so let's get to Candy Crave. Candy Crave is just the sweet stuff, raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. Yeah, that's pretty delicious with the raspberry and the cotton candy. That's nice. I like this. I know my kids will like this and my students. So this may be one that I hang on to until um, next school year because we are done on, we are done next Wednesday. <laughs> okay, coffee tree. Never tried this one. Bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. This is right up my alley. I am not somebody that likes all the added uh, syrups and sweetness and anything to coffee. This is pretty good. Kind of basic, but if you are a coffee lover, I would definitely say give this one a try. Brown wax in brown packaging. We will most likely run out of room. Then we have French Kiss. And French Kiss is Sweet Fig coconut pulp, cedar, and caramel. And I believe that this is a sort of the Bath and Body Works dupe, which I've never had that in their body care or anything. This is nice. I do enjoy fig in wax, and this smells pretty good. This is a French Kiss. Again, I've never tried this one. Looking forward to that. I am not going to be in any hurry to rush through, like melting through these. I want to melt them and enjoy them. So you will see them slowly being added to my empties. Um, fresh cut daisies. Ooh. This says a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. And you definitely got the clover grass and daisies this isn't crazy strong this is pretty um but i would say if you're not a huge floral lover this may be something to to give a try to um yeah that does smell nice then we have honeymoon hideaway this one i have had before and i do like this um, i know a lot of people say that it's very light but i think it's really pretty in the bedroom or in um like an open concept just to get like a light scent if you're not looking to you know blow the roof off your house this is pretty but when I've had this in the past I've definitely just warmed it um in my bedroom 
and it is Lily's Kiwi and Coconut Palm. Seems to be a lot of coconut stuff with Scentsy. And I do like this. Again, pretty light on cold, but nice. What do we have next? We have Jet Set Go, which I had this a long time ago. Um, gosh, six years ago, I want to say. I tried this, and it is described as Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. So not a crazy strong tropical note, but definitely very summery, breezy, fruity, um, yummy. So pretty color there. I'm trying to not make this crazy long. Then we have, what do I have next? Did I misplace one? Oh, goodness. I seem to be a little out of, oh, here we go. I didn't recognize the packaging. This is Kahiko Hula. Mm, this is kind of light. This says, say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya, which I thought this would have been really like banging with fruit notes. A little bit stronger on the bottom, but yeah, it's all there. Papaya, mango, passion fruit. Again, just perfect, perfect for the summer. Yellow wax in with that. Then we have, oh, this one I'm so excited for. This is Lemon Thyme Berry. Ooh, this is good. This is sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. And this really does smell like a strawberry lemonade. Not necessarily picking up the thyme on cold. Oh, but this is really good. I know I'm going to love, love, love this one. Pretty purple wax. This is really refreshing. Um, this will be nice on a hot, hot summer day. So far, I'm impressed with what we have here. Next, we have Lucky in Love. I've had this one before as well. And this is a dupe for Victoria's Secret Love Spell, for sure. Mm. And this is, it says a sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, orange, with hints of peaches and berries. So yes, if you are a fan of Love Spell, you would love Lucky in Love. And I have definitely had this Oh, gosh, probably more than 10 times from Scentsy. So really, really good. Always love that one. Um, Mulberry Bush. I've never smelled this. I don't even think I ever realized that Scentsy even had this. And when I heard Mulberry Bush, the first thing I thought was Christmas. I don't know why, but wow. Whew. This is Sweet Mulberry Accented with Bittersweet Orange Peels. And this just smells like cherry. Ugh. You know that candy that came and it had like a stick in it? And it was just like pure sugar, um, like fruit flavored sugar crystals. I can't think of the name of it. Not pixie sticks. It's like in like a bag. That's what this smells like to me. This is super, super cherry, cherry, cherry. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So... Mulberry bush. Not a favorite of mine on cold, but again, I think this will be great um, for my children and for my classroom. So looking forward to giving that one a try and seeing how that goes. My wish is next, and it is fig, sweet violet, and marshmallow. Maybe this is the Bath and Body Works. I know Bath and Body Works have a very popular fig scent, and I never tried it. But this smells good. I am not always the biggest fan of violet in wax. I just, it doesn't, it kind of turns my stomach. I do not get violet. This is pretty though. The, the fig and the like fluffiness of the marshmallow. Well, oh, I'm definitely going to like this one. And again, this is my wish. Pretty purple wax. Now the decision will be what to try first. We have Ocean, which I have had Ocean before. Yes. 
And this is Cool and Refreshing Aquatic Notes Deepened with Water Lilies and Ocean Breezes. So this to me is just very clean. A very clean scent. It's almost kind of reminds me of like a spring rain. This is pretty. I don't remember it. I know it's been years since I've had it. So that is Ocean. Um, Oodles of Orange. I know so many people were super excited that this was coming back and I've never had this one either. And that is what this is. This is very orangey, <laughs> which I am a huge fan of citrus. So it says kids will love this sweet citrusy scents punched up with fresh pineapple crisp papaya mango blossoms and ripe bunches of tropical berries yum yeah so it's like orangey and pineapple i don't know what the tropical berries are but this is nice um again just a fun fruity scent this smells like it would be really really strong so i think my youngest would love that one being warmed in his bedroom. Okay, let me see what else. Now my phone doesn't want to cooperate while I look up scent notes. Palo Santo. Wait a minute. Did I skip one? I did. Did I say love story? No, I didn't talk about this one. So I read the wrong scent description, you guys. I am sorry. This is Pink Jasmine. Sensual Amber, and Dark Chocolate. Mm, not loving this one. And I know that this is an oldie. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not digging this amber. But I will try it. And it's a pretty red wax. And for some, that one does look a little tiny bit sweaty. Um, yeah, so I would say that this one isn't a... Isn't one that I'm, like, excited about. Okay, back to where I need to be. Palo Santo is wood, Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark, antique. What does it say? Oh, the ultimate dream boat blend. Okay, so I do like Palo Santo. This definitely is a charred scent, and it smells like it has cinnamon in it, which I think is that cedar bark. Um... Yeah, I don't mind this one. And it's just a tan. Matches the packaging. Yeah, this doesn't, it's not cologne at all. No, this is kind of nice, actually. I am looking forward to trying this. Then we have Rockin' Ruby Raz. This one I'm very excited about. Ooh, I like this. This is a fruity blend of juicy oranges, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze, all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. I do like this. Now, it, does, it smells a little cherry on the bottom to my nose. I don't know why I keep smelling cherry. But the top, oh, you really get the oranges and the strawberries. I like this. Mm. These scents are going to be so awesome. For me to warm while I am home like all day now well starting next week sometime um, to start melting these and just have that to be at home and really enjoying them for the whole time that they're warming I'm excited for that then I have spring forward which is Italian bergamot raspberry jam and cedar wood Ooh, ooh, wow this is different I don't know what the difference from like a regular bergamot and Italian bergamot. This does smell a little um, like spicy, but not cedar wood. It's got to be that Italian bergamot. I kind of like this. Yeah, this is definitely different. Like nothing I've ever smelled before. Ooh, yes. Excited for this one too. And it's when I saw a spring forward, I thought it was going to be like very floral, but this is. This has me very interested. Um, strawberry swirl is fresh strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Oh, milk. Uh, let's see. Ooh. This reminds me of something. Yes, it does. 
Oh, this is good. Very, very strawberry. Mm, I like this. I really like this. This surprised me. I didn't think I was going to like this one. Mm, I hope that this smells um, like this on warm the way it does on cold because that smells really, really good. I don't want to have a things spilling. Okay, then we have, wow, strawberry swirl. Hmm. Summer Soleil, pineapple, coconut, and vanilla marshmallow. Mm. This one does not want to pop out. Do you? Come on. Um, this just smells like tropical, like a light tropical, which I have other ones from Sunsea that I think I prefer, but still going to warm it. This could be a favorite. I don't know. It's pretty. It's just, you know, like a very vacation, an islandy vacation scent to my nose. Uh, where are we putting things? We'll put you back there. All right. What do we have next? Uh, sweet pea and vanilla, which I know I've had, right? Maybe not. Okay, sweet pea and vanilla is raspberries, sweet peas, sweet pea petals, and with vanilla. Hmm. This smells like a very perfumey, uh, or like a lotion type of scent. It's nice, but it's nothing that's like making me feel like I need to add this to my club. But again, I won't know until I warm it. So that's sweet pea and vanilla. Then we have watermelon mint. Yes, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, ooh, I like this a lot. Love it. Ooh, summery goodness. Um, so how do they describe it? A chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. This smells like a delicious drink. Just add vodka. It would be a lovely summer cocktail. Oh, this is going to be great. Warming in my house. Hot, hot days. Mmm. I really do like this one. I know it sounds basic, watermelon mints, but very excited for that one. Then we have watermelon patch. Never tried this. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. Mm. Different from the watermelon mint. This is more candy watermelon, but I still like it. I do. Mm. Nice, vibrant color. There is the packaging, which is very similar to Spring Forward. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Just two left, and we are done. White Tea and Cactus. Which I can't remember if I've had before from Sensi. A clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. So, green notes. I don't know. Mm. Definitely clean and crisp, but I just don't, I don't know what. But I like this. This will be good all over my house. Gosh, I wish I could remember if I've tried it. I may have, but it would have been years ago, I think. So, white tea and cactus. So, there. And then lastly, Wild Black Cherry. I'm a little scared of this one. Whew. Again, this is like a cherry candy, like a, one of those like cherry hard candies. Cherry just has never been my ascent for me. Um, a sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fashioned black cherry soda. I've never had black cherry soda, so I wouldn't know. But it's okay. Um, yeah, this is all right. It's not terrible. It's not something I would need to stockpile. 
Um, but I'm happy to try it and see what I think of it. Um, yeah, wild black cherry. So there you go. 25. Bring back my bars. And I am happy to, um, to warm these. Again, you guys, I will leave my Scentsy information down below. These will be available June 1st. And I know people were voting like crazy on scents and stuff. So, um, I think things, um, people are going to be placing big orders for these, for some of these scents. So remember June 1st, you can bundle and save and do that kind of stuff. Obviously you do not have to buy the whole 25. Pick and choose what you want. If any of these sound good to you and you want better descriptions or anything like that, please reach out. Um, I will answer your questions again. Um, available June 1st. How many more times do I need to say that? That's everything, you guys. I will be back in a little bit with a pretty substantial Scentsy haul. So take care, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.